What's going on friends and welcome back to the brand new Minecraft video here on the channel. Today we have something a little bit different for you guys. We are going to take a break from the mega bases and build focused videos and actually make a theories video talking about all the news, leaks, and early information we have on the upcoming Minecraft 1.20 update which is here in the somewhat near future. By now we all know that 1.19 is the wild update that is going to be bringing the deep dark cities, the warden, and all of that. We pretty much have all of the information and are just waiting for the official update to come out sometime during 2022 which leaves the door wide open and for early discussion about the 1.20 update and what that is actually going to be based around which is most likely going to be coming out sometime in 2023. Now similar to what Mojang has been doing with a lot of their recent updates they normally take a part of Minecraft and hyper focus on it so whether that be different biomes or different features of the game just like the wild update that is focusing a lot on the caves and the world generation beneath the ground there is a lot of speculation that the brand new 1.20 update that could be the next big change to Minecraft will actually be affecting and focusing on the end dimension, which I think would be amazing. Now, of course, there is a lot of different biomes and things that Mojang could change and focus on in this update, but one of the main reasons a lot of people here in the community are speculating that the Ender update is going to be focusing on the 1.20 update is mainly due to the fact that Minecraft Dungeons recently just had a big update to that game where the end was the main focus of that update. So a lot of people here are speculating that since Minecraft Dungeons had a big Ender update that has a lot of new features that the regular based game of Minecraft on Java and Bedrock Edition don't have. That is what Mojang is actually going to be focusing on for the 1.20 update in Bedrock and Java. And on top of this, the End Dimension has not seen an update in game in almost seven years. The last time Mojang has ever altered or changed anything in the End Dimension regarding that biome and section of Minecraft was back in October 2015 when the Elytra Wings were initially added into the game where you had to obviously go and find end cities with boats and basically find them there. That was the last time that the End Dimension has ever seen an update, which makes sense. It's been seven years. It's a part of the game that although there is some decent stuff to do, other than going there to fight the Ender Dragon and finding Elytras and End Cities, it's one of the most boring and plain dimensions we have. Obviously, the Nether was very similar, but we all know that that got a massive update that has many biomes within the Nether now, and uh, it basically just leaves the end as a perfect section of the game for Mojang to focus on once the 1.20 update does come out. Now, what's cool about the end dimension is there is so much different stuff that Mojang can alter. Obviously, as of right now, there is only three different types of mobs that you can encounter in the end. Obviously, we have the Endermen, we have the Shulkers who are very annoying to fight, and then the third, and technically it is a mob, is the Ender Dragon, which you typically only have to fight once unless you respawn it. So there is a lot of potential for new mobs to enter the end dimension and kind of have that similar theme as the Endermen where they're able to teleport around similar to the Shulker boxes as well and just have those end color schemes of the black and purple. And although there is nothing confirmed on what could be potentially added in the 1.20 update regarding the end, there is a really, really amazing mod pack out there that we've actually featured here on the channel before. A lot of you guys have probably already seen it, but this mod pack is known as the best better end and uh, the name is honestly not lying this really makes the end an amazing amazing place in the background you guys have already seen some cinematics and gameplay of what the better end mod actually looks like but it's essentially a mod pack that completely revamps and updates the end to where it's very similar to the nether update that took place a few years ago where the end actually has different microbiomes within it along with a bunch of different mobs and a ton of new blocks that you're able to mine and build with. In this mod, some of the brand new biomes that they added, and like I said, none of this is confirmed. This is just on the Better Ends mod, but it gives you a rough idea of the possibilities that Mojang could add into this update if it is focused on the end dimension. We have the Void Touch Plains, which are different types of trees that actually glow. Obviously, the end is a very, very dark place, so biomes that are very light and like trees that glow kind of like some of the trees over in the nether biomes that would be really really cool there's void touch trees that could be used to craft new sets of weapons that uh, have a new type of building material that you need to craft them and an overall new effect known as voided which weakens enemies and makes them take more damage than normal which is pretty cool obviously there is a 
effect with the weakness arrows in game already but there is no effects like that on any of the regular swords axe or tools that you can craft which i think that would be a really really cool addition to the game on top of that they also have a new randomly generated uh area that spawns in similar to the elytra update that took place back in 2015 when they added the end cities which in the better end mod they know they call them the Broken Citadels, which would randomly generate and spawn all around these different dimensions, similar to the end cities. And essentially what these are is towers and other structures located in these biomes where there is new advancements and essentially they would be a very dangerous place to explore with traps being placed everywhere like hidden pressure plates that have TNT that explode, dispensers hidden around the map that shoot arrows and once you clear all the traps there would be a secret treasure rooms where there would be a new boss which in this mod they call it the end demon. Now of course there already is a boss fight in the end with the ender dragon so I don't know how realistic this would actually be for there to be another boss but if there was new types of mods added in this update they could be located in these broken citadels or new structures that are randomly generated that have really, really good loot, similar to the end cities. And in this mod pack as well, they also revamped what the end cities actually look like. So on top of them already being in the game, they obviously haven't been updated since 2015 when they were initially added. They actually reworked it in this mod to make it a little bit more difficult to explore, essentially make it a little bit more dangerous since the end dimension is very, very scary. And that is, uh, it's a result of a lot of people dying and losing all of their gear, but they would essentially update the end cities to make the skyscrapers and buildings a lot bigger, which contain a lot more loot rooms. And then at the center, there would be a large structure known as the Ender Dome, where the Elytra and a lot more mobs would actually be that obviously you have to take out in order to get some of the best loot featured in those end cities. And then of course, on top of all of these new biomes, they have a bunch of different blocks in this as well. There's Void Touch Log, Void Touch Purple Blocks, there is Soft Obsidian, Block of Sky Obsidian, Obsidian Ore, and then Box Blocks. So there's a bunch of different things that they could do to this. Just like the Nether update, whenever they did add some of those new biomes, each biome had its own new specific block, which was where you were able to find it. So if they wanted to take that route and do something similar with the end updates, there is a lot of different possibilities that they could do. Because as of right now, other than end stone, and then of course getting the chorus fruit and some of the blocks that you could find in end cities, there's only like four or five blocks that are exclusive to the end, which compared to all the other dimensions and biomes in Minecraft right now is by far the least amount, which is why I feel like it's really due for an update and some brand new changes. Now, of course, all of this is really, really early speculation. Like I said, we could be over a year plus away from getting the first early information and news on what the 1.20 update could be. Like I said, I think there's a lot of early speculation about being it on the end dimension, which I think would be really cool based on some of the other info we have, like Minecraft Dungeons getting the end update early. But if you guys have any thoughts, theories, or what you think the 1.20 update is going to be focusing on, definitely let us know down in the comments below. These videos are really fun to make because it's all speculation and theories, and uh, some of you guys have some really awesome ideas. Minecraft is open to endless possibilities, and there's so much they could do and focus on in the next big update, so I'd love to know what you guys think that's going to be. But with that being said, that's all we got for you guys today. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new, and we will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, my friends.